In order to improve navigational safety and access to the harbour, we dredged 35,000 cubic metres of sediment from the navigational channels. That is about uh, 14 Olympic sized swimming pools and we use this sediment in the coastal salt marshes as a type of flood defence. The salt marshes provide a unique ecosystem service including fish nurseries and habitat conditions unique to this area. So in total we restored 3 hectares of salt marsh and 2.8 kilometres of coastal defences. The salt marsh has the ability to attenuate wave energy, so the wave energy is absorbed by the plants before it actually gets to the seawall. So the advantage of the salt marshes in front of the coastal defences is that those defences can be a lot smaller in size in contrast to having no salt marsh in front of the defences. Commercial traffic was originally finding it very difficult to get into Brightling Sea because it didn't have enough depth of water. The project corrected that, making it more available for the larger ships to get into the wharf. The leisure users who used to wait outside in the river can now access the creek at all states of the tide. And of course, we also benefit by the migratory birds who have been able to use the filled borrow pits with the mud that we put into there and now can feed on it and uh, they bring to it bird watchers. Great for the economy, great for the local businesses, great for the harbour users, but more importantly, great for the harbour. Salt marsh is a nature-based solution that also supports the circular economy. The vegetation on the salt marsh traps all the sediment particles that then increase the height of the salt marsh over time. So as sea level rises, the salt marsh rises as well and uh, is fully adaptive to climate change. We've received a huge amount of interest from uh, many organisations like the Environment Agency and Natural England and uh, they are looking to copy what we've done here and uh, adopt uh, the practices that we've implemented. I think uh, what we achieved with the project uh, using sediment as a resource as part of the circular economy and supporting local communities as well as biodiversity has been a great result and that's uh, something to be proud of.